you tired of chasing clients or wondering where your next lead or sale is gonna come from? If that's the situation you find yourself in, then this video is for you. I'm gonna show you exactly how it is that you can build a webinar funnel so that you can attract an unlimited amount of leads, generate more sales in your business, and finally feel more confident about the marketing efforts in your business. Remember, posting isn't marketing, so you wanna make sure you watch this video all the way to the end. I wanna tell you a little bit about myself in about 30 seconds or so about who I am, who I've helped, and why you should listen to what I have to say. So listen to this introduction really quickly, then we'll be right back so that I can dive into this amazing strategy, be ready with a pen and paper so that you can implement this in your business today. Hi, I'm Eileen Harris, an entrepreneur and Cuban American. When I started as an entrepreneur, I had little resources, so I quickly learned how to work smart. I experienced lots of headaches and setbacks when I started, but today, everything is different. I've got clients in over 20 countries, I've traveled the world, and I want to show you how to do the same. In this community, you will gain amazing training and inspiration to build a business of your dreams and a great lifestyle to go with it. Whether you're an entrepreneur with lots of ambition and experience or you have just started your entrepreneurial journey, you've come to the right place. Remember, you can have it all. Welcome back. Let's dive right in and how to build a webinar funnel and an evergreen funnel. This is a really helpful thing if you want to automate your sales, your lead generation, if you want to make sure that if you're spending time with people, if you're on Zoom, if you're on the phone with them, that they're qualified. This is your red velvet rope. This is also a great way to automate your sales. This is a great way to automate onboarding clients. There's a lot that you could do with a webinar funnel. But overall, I find that a lot of people call it different things and a lot of people are referring to different things when they're talking about a webinar funnel. So if you look at this image right here, you're gonna see like the shape, right, of a literal funnel. But I don't want you to get stuck on that. I want you to see that what you're doing is you're filtering people. So in the first phase, one of the most popular phases when you're promoting on social media or you're promoting via an ad, this is when you're inviting people to come stop what they're doing and come and focus on your business, on what you have to offer. One of the ways that you can filter out people and make this even more enticing is to offer something for free. That's why it says opt-in page next. And so, yes, you can promote and you're going to promote to a lot of people. But out of all the people you promote to, despite having an incentive and a freebie and a ton of value that you want to share, you're going to have a, a smaller percentage of all the people that you promoted to, hence the funnel getting a little bit thinner, that are actually going to opt in. This is great because at least you know these people have self-identified as needing what you have to offer. I like to make sure that whatever I offer for free is 100% related to what I'm selling. So if my freebie has nothing to do with my business, then I'm probably not going to have that freebie. So for instance, if I gave away a free iPad, what does that have to do with my coaching business? If I gave away a class on email marketing, but my paid services were for let's say digital course creation i guess they could kind of be in the same realm but it's not why that person raised their hand to hear from you and you're going to get a lot of unsubscribes on your email list you're just going to get a lot of people who are saying wait what because you were not using the correct red velvet rope so remember your free stuff has to be related to your paid stuff you're adding your promotion has to be related to what you're promoting and so it's really important that when you're promoting on social media, you're promoting to the right people and you're getting their attention. Once you get their attention, you've got to make sure that you're okay with the fact that you are going to weed out some people who may not be ready to take action. And that is why not 100% of people will ever register. Maybe a high percentage will, but never 100%. Why? Because you don't own social media and you can't always control who's going to see what it is that you promote. I'm assuming because you're looking at an evergreen webinar funnel and a webinar funnel that the freebie for this funnel is some sort of free class, some sort of free training. Personally, that's my favorite. I love teaching. I love adding tons of value. And I love knowing that whether people bought from me or not, I left them better than I found them. And so there have been people who have not bought from me while going through my funnel, but they enjoyed the training. Guess what they did? They invited me to come speak at their event. Like, hey, come out to the Philippines. I want you to do that in person at my event. Hey, why don't you come out over here to South Africa? Do that at my event. Other things that my leads that maybe someone else would be like, ah, you know, I don't know what ROI I'm getting on this free webinar I'm adding. 
referrals. Referrals have been coming in because the webinar positions you as an expert in your field. I don't even know if you go to EileenHarris.com, my website, if it says that I have an MBA. Because instead of telling people what your credibility is, the webinar allows you to show them. It allows you to put them in a position where finally somebody gets where they're coming from, where finally you're able to help them. And that's where you deliver value, where you share your signature system and so much more. The next thing that you want to do is you want to follow up via email. A lot of people really forget that they need to follow up. The average person needs to see something at least seven times before they make a buying decision. And so it's really tricky and really stressful if the person that you're talking to isn't following up with you because they're expecting you to know absolutely everything and just buy absolutely everything after hearing from them one time. You also don't know if they had to run to work, if their computer died, if their phone fell in the toilet, if they're running late, if their boss walked in on them, whatever the situation was. And you may need to be ready to send out the replay, send value in other ways and summarize what it is that you have to offer. My thought process is people can always unsubscribe. People can always choose to stop hearing about a certain topic. So you're definitely never bothering anyone when you're adding tons of value, when you're being helpful. And one of the things that can help you be helpful is a mindset of you've got to think about the why and the what is free. The how is paid. So you can be super generous with the why something matters. What about it? What do they need to do? And the how is usually why they'll work with you. This is extremely, extremely important because this frees up your time. This is a red velvet rope before people talk to you. So if you're going to hold strategy sessions as a coach, if you're going to sell maybe high ticket items or, or perhaps you only have a certain amount of spots on a trip or a retreat or something like that, and you want to only speak to people who are interested, they know, like, and trust you, they get why your time matters, they're appreciative, I mean, whatever else you have on your ideal client list. A lot of people, when they're starting out, they say, well, my ideal client just needs to pay. Yeah, I mean, sure, that's like a basic transaction that you're going to make in business, but you need to understand who your ideal client is, especially if you're going to be interacting with them one-on-one. -on -one. But more importantly, you want these people to take action and you want them to be a really good fit for your product because people getting results get you testimonials. Testimonials, of course, uh, fills your love tank. <laughs> you're super happy about it, but it's also great to increase the confidence of other people buying from you. And so this gives you momentum in your business. And so as you can start seeing, when you start hearing about a funnel, you start seeing why the shape gets a little bit thinner and thinner and thinner. Because at the end of the day, people self-select. They say, I'm going to give you my name and email address, maybe even phone number, so much more. When they opt in, when they sign up for your freebie. But the next step, they actually have to show up and watch the training. You know, sometimes people you know, self-select, but they don't take action. They're not coachable. Or many other times they're just not ready to take action, even though they're interested in the topic. And so little by little, you start finding the right people. That's why it's so important that at the very top of your funnel, when it comes to promotion, that you then put yourself in a position to reach as many people as possible in as many different ways as possible. Ads is my favorite way. I absolutely love an ad and sharing an ad, but you know what? Referrals, affiliates, social media posts, attraction marketing, and so much more are a really excellent way to reach out to people. One of the things I love sharing with people is also some ways that you can brainstorm how you can succeed with your webinar. There are four things that you can do. You can think about what's your plan, what's your strategy, what is it that you want out of this, what problem are you looking to solve, what solution are you offering, and at the end of it, what is it going to look like? So let's start with the plan. Typically, an evergreen webinar funnel can help you build your email list. It can build brand awareness. It, it can establish your credibility. It can add tons of value, and it can help you with market research. I love the fact that I can build your email list. That's how I've got over 100,000 people on my email list because I have been adding value. And it's really great because these are people who have come to me who are willing to sit down and go through a training. These are people who are coachable. These are people who want to learn. These aren't necessarily me advertising to pretty cool people still, but I'm not advertising to people who maybe want in shorter content. I like short content too, but I love sitting down and sinking my teeth into a topic that I'm really passionate about, like online marketing. 
And when people know more about you, they get more comfortable with you. It's also something that allows you to build a relationship with them via email. I'm actually in the Dominican Republic right now recording this. And uh, not too long ago, my husband and I were grocery shopping and I'm paying at the grocery store in the Dominican Republic. And the man behind us literally looks at me and says, Eileen Harris. And, you know, I am definitely not somebody who, even though I have over 100,000 email subscribers, it's not like I'm somebody who goes viral all the time or I'm a household name or something like that, like a Kardashian maybe. And so, yeah, that was the shock of my life. But this man, he knew me, you know, my husband's name, he knew my dog's name. He, you know, we had this relationship online and, and at first, and just because I wasn't expecting it, you know, you, you have to process it and it took me about 30 seconds to be like, yes. Uh, and you know, because your mind starts thinking, did we go to ho college together? Did we go to high school together? But no, even better, you know, we have connected over having a similar mindset. We're like-minded individuals. We're passionate about the same things. We're building our businesses in the same way. And so Hopefully we run into him again and we get to catch up. He actually went to another country. We were going to have him over at our villa. And so it's just really interesting because and this is something that would be really hard for me to keep up with if I were going just to local networking events, if I were just catching up with people all the time, because I would probably forget to follow up with someone or mean well, but I was on a 16 hour flight to South Africa or longer with layovers and things like that. And uh, people can fall through the cracks, but when you've got a system like this, people can really sit through a class that you gave it your all in. So whether I lost my voice or I have a fever or I'm not feeling well another day, it's not a big deal because when someone's watching my webinar, they're watching my best, you know? I really sunk my teeth into it and I put in a lot of effort. Then I'm keeping in touch via email and I don't have to worry about a lot of individual calls. I can send out these emails that reach people. I don't know if you know this, but on average, people see 2,000 social media posts a day versus the average person gets 50 emails a day. And not only do you own the database, but I'd rather be one of 50 than one of 2,000. And so this is really helpful. It helps you increase your trust. And as you're teaching, as you're sharing things and you're being actually helpful, you're going to increase that credibility. And you know what? It's just actually fun to add tons of value. There are a lot of things that people assume are common knowledge, but trust me, people who need what you have to offer would in no way, shape or form roll their eyes at what you have to say. They will appreciate it. They will appreciate the awareness, the enlightenment. They will be grateful that you cared enough to share more with them. And uh, one of the things that it also helps you do is market research. And so I learn a lot when an auto webinar, people don't realize how it's one huge survey. I love when people leave me comments when they're interacting with an auto webinar because I don't know if everybody does this, but I do. I will literally sit there and I will read every single comment and every single question. And if a lot of people are asking me the same question, guess what I'm going to think? Hmm, there's a gap in my presentation or I could do an email about this and clarify something because since I'm not there live, I cannot show up and show out for a big old pop quiz. I've got to anticipate these things. That way, what I have automated will actually convert. And so if you're willing to roll up your sleeves and to consistently work on your business, this can also serve as market research. And it's either to re-record it and do it again. I mean, who cares? It's something you do once, might as well do it as good as possible so that you don't have to do it again. It can also inform a future course that you create. It can also serve as a content for your ad because you get to understand people on a deeper level. Next, you want to understand their problem, their problem with their words and their point of view, because then they'll say, oh my goodness, this is exactly what I need to offer. If I did an ad and I was like, do you want to boost your KPIs, which mean key performance indicators? Do you want to boost your KPIs in your evergreen webinar and uh, crush it with your autoresponder? I might get like four or five online marketers that might click out of curiosity. Most people don't think of KPIs, key performance indicators, but they might think, hmm, lead generation. Uh, I want more contacts. I want to grow my database. I want more followers. They might not think evergreen webinar. That might be a little bit too much jargon for somebody. They might think a, a free online class, an online workshop, a webinar, something like that. And so you've got to not just know what people need, but you've got to know how they would say it and uh, say it in a way and add value in a way that they would want to give you their undivided attention. You know, a webinar is nothing like YouTube. There's no one else there. There's no recommended videos. 
There's nothing else that's going to pop up. There is no cat that can do some one-legged dance in a pink tutu to a Taylor Swift song that's going to blow everyone's mind, right? That's not going to happen on a webinar. It is just you and them in an online class. And um, this is where you can shine with your what and your why. Remember, the how is paid. And so if you are helping people with that problem, that is going to help them say, oh my goodness, this is what I've been looking for. They don't have that feeling that they have to go back to YouTube or Google or Pinterest or anywhere else to keep searching. They're like, let me check this out. Let me go, right? It's sort of like if you were sitting at the doctor and they were checking you out, you wouldn't, while talking to that doctor, necessarily be Googling 10 other doctors and maybe multitasking, FaceTiming with a whole other doctor. Now, you're probably going to, at least for the duration of that appointment, give them your undivided attention. Well, the same thing can happen for you in your business. And then that's where the solution comes in. Like, all right, you get me, you know, now what's next? How are, how are you going to help me get out of this situation? And one of the things that I absolutely always recommend is that somebody has a unique signature system. This is extremely important that you name something, that you uh, create a process that is unique to you, something that people can't Google something that uh, they, I mean, and if they Google it, they find that it's yours, but something that not everyone else does. This is especially for that lead or that customer that feels like they have tried everything. Have you ever spoken to that person that's like, well, how is your thing different? Well, you can address that and prevent that objection completely by leveraging your webinar as a way to create a signature system. So if there's a special way you do makeup, if there's a special way that you build a house, if there's a special way you grow someone's online business, if there's a special way that you do your coaching, call it something. My special system when I help people develop things is that I've got my digital asset incubator. So instead of just saying, yeah, I'll automate your webinars, I tell people, I'm going to help you build a digital asset just like you would own real estate and all sorts of other assets. When you have a digital asset, you can have something online that makes you money over and over and over again. Yeah, there might be other people talking about digital, but not the way I am. So they're not going to Google it and think that, oh, some 20 other people do what I do. When you have a unique signature system, this helps you stand out. You can share case studies if you don't have a ton of testimonials. You can share testimonials, of course, if you have them. And try to give people at least one easy win. What's a website that maybe not a lot of people know about? What is a system, a worksheet, a something that people can get that allows them to have an easy win? Next, what is something that you need them to do now? What is the next step? How are you closing out this webinar? What is the solution? What is a call to action? How does your program work? Who's it for? What does it include? And uh, you need to buy now for the how, okay? That is the next step because uh, truly the more you learn, the more you earn and you're passionate about what you do. But you want to make sure that your webinar is set up in a way so that it builds the case for someone to buy from you so that the next logical step is not for them to say, well, I got to think about it or I have to talk to my spouse or I have to do this and that. The next logical step is just for them to make a decision for themselves. I never want to force anyone to buy because then I have to force them to take action or be coachable or something like that. But I do want them to make a decision. So I do design my webinars for people to make well-informed decisions, give them the best information possible so that they can decide for themselves. I don't need to be salesy or pushy. I don't need to convince anyone. But if I share the information the best way possible and this person already raised their hands out of all the other people online at the beginning of the funnel and said, I want information on this topic. It also, it happens to increase the likelihood that they will be ready to make a decision to work with me. And so I hope that this takes a lot of pressure off of you because a jo the job of a webinar is not to convert 100% of people. A job of a webinar is to do a match, right? To match you with the right people for your business. So it's your own matchmaking service It's and you do it in an automated way. You don't have to chase down people. You don't have to convince people. You don't have to go out there begging others, reading scripts, memorizing all sorts of, you know, just salesy and pushy things. You instead can work really smart. And then, of course, build your digital asset, which is your webinar and your evergreen webinar. This has worked for me in Spanish and English all over the world. And for e-courses, coaching, health and wellness products, services, agencies, influencer launches, like so many different types of campaigns. And I know that this system can work because we are in a day and age where there is a lot of content out there. There is a lot of things happening. 
you know what? There's not a lot of people sitting down, laying it all out there. And uh, even if you're marketing, you're like, well, everyone has a webinar. Actually, not everyone does. And somebody can work hours and hours and hours on a YouTube video or a short video or something like that. But then they're fighting the algorithm and they're doing all these different things. And it may not be long enough to truly get the substance and the meat and enough time for someone to see how relatable you are to them and how you can connect to them. And so this is a really powerful technique that everyone should have in their business. I should go to your website right now in your homepage and in your homepage, see a class that I can take on this topic. And after that, anything else that you sell should be so much easier because no matter what, whether they join that program or not, they'll see why you are their go-to expert that they love learning from. So let's simplify this quickly so that you can keep this in mind, have a little road for webinar success laid out for you here. First of all, you wanna test things live. You wanna have live webinars before you automate your webinar. You can actually automate something crappy and ineffective. Just because something's automated doesn't mean it's gonna give you sales. Anybody can click, upload a video, and push certain buttons. You need to make sure that people understand why this matters, that your webinar is laid out in a way so that people actually wanna to stay to the end. And of course, that you want them to take action, not sit there and stay in a rut. This is actually, even if you don't realize it, a sample coaching session. This also shows people, are they clicking with your teaching style? Are you, you know, their vibe, you could say. Are you somebody who gets where they're coming from, who is going to give them advice that resonates with them? I've been on webinars with really successful people teaching them, and they're great, and they have all the credibility in the world, but their messaging just really doesn't resonate with me because I don't believe in that hustle culture 24-7, team no sleep, if you slept and took a shower, then you must not care about your goals and you have to wake up at 3.30 in the morning and then you have to jog a half marathon. Otherwise, you're just not going to have your frequency high enough or you're just not going to care. And you know what? I, I'm not even bashing it. If you want to do that and that works for you, then do it because it's working for you. But that would not work for me. And so I've been on a lot of webinars and I get a sample of what it's like to work with them and they didn't have to take time out of their day, call me, take me out to coffee, do all these different things. So it's a really scalable way for people to check out. It is a mutual thing. So I'll do those live events. And when you do an event consistently, the exact same one, okay, the exact same one, do it live and keep improving on it, improving on it and improving on it, then you can automate that. That is something that can work for you. Once you have it, then you can promote it and you can follow up with email, you can survey people and you can adjust even after you automate something. Just like I mentioned earlier, by incorporating the feedback, you can add a new email, you can re-record it, you can do so many different things. Something that I love to do is I love actually sharing a recording of something I actually hosted live. I know that, okay, this worked really well live and I'm going to automate it. I love telling people when something is automated, just call it an on-demand training or something like that. And so uh, people can still interact as if it were live. It is going to still reach me. I am still going to read their messages. Uh, trust me, I read them religiously. But I, I'm not saying, you know, show up live at this time when I'm not actually there, you know. And so it's really important that you know that it's not a big deal, that it's automated. Don't get in your head about it. It's really helpful. I'm so glad that my client in Norway didn't have to stay up till the middle of the night for a schedule that worked for me. I'm so glad my client in Dubai didn't have to worry about what I was doing because she was able to get to know me through my webinar. I'm so glad that my client in Mexico wasn't limited when I was traveling to South Africa. It just serves everybody. And so that's why I tell you, hey, build a digital asset that sells your programs and services for you 24 seven without you having to be chained to your laptop 24 seven. And as you automate, you just keep learning and you keep practicing. You can always tweak the ad, you can tweak things on your page. But at the end of the day, you're just not going to know all of this stuff in theory before you take action. So you don't know how to you don't have to know everything. Thank God. And you also can't know everything before you do something. So at some point, you're just going to have to put it out there. And even if your first webinar is a live stream, seriously, a live stream that you repurpose, maybe something that you just put an opt-in page and a thank you page. And on the thank you page, you have the replay of a live stream. Okay. We're not talking about being super techie and see how that goes. Test it. See how people respond to the content, to the copy, all of that before you get extra techie. There's absolutely no reason for you not to win big today and automate your webinar so that you can make sales in your sleep.
So what do you do now? I want you to do your homework, all right? So go to your competitors. I mean, I don't like thinking of people as competitors, but uh, that's a common word <laughs> that we can all refer to. But look at your colleagues, you could say, and see what questions people are asking them. What are some things that your business addresses that maybe other people's don't? So for instance, if you're a hairdresser, maybe this company focuses a lot on highlights. You know, one of my favorite hairdressers in Miami, she calls herself the queen of blondes, right? So yeah, she can offer you a lot of services, but most people go to her because they want the layers and the highlights and they want all sorts of things. Whereas down the street, someone may focus on a keratin treatment or haircuts or something like that. So do some research and figure out how you're the same, how you're different, how you stand out. What are questions people are asking that are going unanswered that you know you can address, not just with your free content. Because it's not just about getting attention. It's about getting a lead that will then turn into a customer. You don't just want to be popular. You want to be profitable. And so go ahead and do that research. Get to learn more. And of course, take action. Also start thinking about your signature system, even if it is a service, even if you're a law firm, how can you package what you have to offer so that your webinar helps you position a very special package? Make sure that it shows your personality. You don't have to over promise something that you're not going to deliver. And it's not about smoke and mirrors. It's just about packaging and bundling it on a way. So even if your process has a thousand steps, people know they're signing up for one program. So it doesn't seem overwhelming and they see how you are different from all the other things they have checked out. The next thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that of all the things you can help people that you focus on a problem that just cannot be ignored anymore. Something that they cannot slack off on, something that they're like, okay, I'm going to drop what I'm doing so that I can focus on this. So maybe someone could live, you know, maybe they could live without having extra followers online or not having all the matching colors, but maybe something that would be of huge consequence to them would be, hey, you've got to do X, Y, and Z to protect your social media page so they don't shut down your page and so that you can keep getting customers and give them actual tips. You know, don't make it clickbaity. Make sure that your webinar is helping people understand the what and the why, but make it relevant and urgent and special. And then your solution, make it extra special by sharing with your unique signature system. Then of course you wanna practice live. It is way too much pressure for a brand new person to need an evergreen webinar all of a sudden without any support. And uh, if you want to learn more on this topic, I've got a webinar practicing what I preach, wink, wink, in the description below. And I share with you how I built my list to over 100,000, how, you know, I've got customers in over 20 countries, how I lay out my webinars. I'm going to share with you how to promote them like a pro, what pages you need to automate, because not everything, you know, an evergreen webinar needs to be there. So you don't want to clutter it up. So I tell you what processes in your business you can automate beyond lead generation and sales. So I go over all of that be sure to check it out and check out the tons of other resources I share with you below, like blogs and other awesome trainings, because the truth is you got this, you can do this. If you have an idea and you've got this inkling and maybe it hasn't worked yet for you, that's okay. That's not a big deal. That gives you actually more to resonate with your ideal customer. You can tell them, hey, I know what it's like to be frustrated and to need some support. And so be coachable, be open-minded. I can't help people that have a problem for every solution. So uh, go ahead, dig in deep, keep working on this. You got this. Remember, you can have it all.